All right, Brooklyn. Well, how excited are you to get into the full gig to talk to me from the comfort of your own home? <laughs> I mean, this is this is my life now. <laughs> Drag from the waist up in my living room. <laughs> is it just the waist up? It's always just the waist up. <laughs> <laughs> After many years of dreaming, it's official. We are looking for Canada's first drag superstar. Oh, Canada. So bringing us some entertainment in this time of quarantine. We'll have Canada's Drag Race to watch. I know. Every week starting this Thursday. Uh, talk to me about how this show came into your life because you are the first Rue girl to make the transition to behind the judges table. I know, it's just crazy to think about. Um, in 11 seasons, I'm the first one, um, which is amazing. Well, this kind of, it happened, the first time I had even thought about it or talked to anybody anybody about it was right after we filmed the season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, and it was August, probably, I guess that would be 2018 at that point. And I was um, in the World of Wonder offices um, and I was just talking with them about shows I could maybe do on WOW Presents Plus. Um, and then I said, you know what? I would really love it if there was a Canada's Drag Race. I know that's like a, a long shot. It's never gonna happen, but I'm just saying and I'm putting it into the universe. It'd be so fun. And they were like, ha 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 ha, yeah, maybe one day we'll see. Just kind of like shrugged it off. So, and I didn't think any more about it. And then I think it was right after the finale um, in May or June of 2019. And my agent calls me and, they're like, and then he was like, so there's gonna be a Canada's Drag Race and they're just finalizing it and they want to know if you would be a judge and i just my jaw just like dropped in my apartment i could not believe it like i was so gagged that this was actually like happening and like happening right after the finale had kind of finished so i was like because i was like oh great well what am i going to do now i guess i'll go back on all stars and then this kind of just plopped in my lap and i yeah i could not be more grateful or excited to be chosen to do this and canada's drag race there's no room behind that desk you're the drag queen. So I'm what kind of pressure queen. is that? I, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of pressure. I mean, I think the important thing is to realize that I'm not RuPaul. I'm not trying to be RuPaul. I could never be RuPaul. So I, as soon as I kind of realized that in myself, I kind of was like, I'm just going to go and I'm going to be Brooklyn and I'm going to do what Brooklyn does. And that's going to work. So that's what, that's what I did. And it worked out really well. I was just myself and, um, had a really, really good time doing it. And it was so amazing to be able to do it with Jeffrey and Stacy together. I could not have asked for better co-judges to judge this with me. We had so much fun. Queen to queen, I know the pressure of this competition, but I can promise you it's gonna be worth it. This is your time to shine. This experience will change your life completely. What would you say is harder, competing on the show or judging the show? Oh, competing. Okay. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> would you ever want to go back and compete now knowing the judges side of things? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know that it would make sense. Um, like, I, it's definitely not while I'm a judge. Like right now is kind of, I kind of feel like I've moved beyond competing a little bit in this moment in time. I don't think it would make any sense for me to go back while Canada's Drag Race is still going on. But never say never. I mean, if I had to go back and compete, I would. I, I just don't think it's gonna be anytime soon. What insights to the competition did you get from judging that you were like, oh, this is something I didn't realize until I sat on the other side of things. How nervous we all look. <laughs> I think the first week I was like, all right, y'all need to calm the f down. Like you could just, everyone was just like, like these, like you could just, you could feel the nerves coming off these girls just like waiting as like one by one, we went down the line. And I bet you I was like, you guys need to, can everyone just shake it out for a second? Like, it's okay. Like no one's going to die today. Like just, just breathe. Like I just never realized like how nervous, how nervous we all look standing up there and how much you can see people's nerves when they're just kind of like, especially when they know, when you know that they know that they did a bad job and they're just waiting for it. <laughs> did RuPaul give you any advice before you dived into this experience? Um, I saw, last time I saw him was at the Emmys last year and I forgot to ask him for advice because he's RuPaul and I was like, hi, it's great to see you, I love you, hi. Like I just, I didn't, I, I just forgot, it like slipped my mind. I did ask Michelle for some advice though. And Michelle, she, she's an, an amazing, amazing judge. And she was just, she said, just see yourself in the contestants and be honest. So that's what I did. 
I was just gave, I made sure to give very, I tried to give very constructive criticism um, when it was necessary. Um, and some of them were harsh, but it was never, it never came from a mean place. And I always made sure that was very evident. It was always from a place of wanting to help them be better. And then when they did well, I got so excited when I would see someone do well, or when I would see some, wear a fierce look. And I made sure to let them know how excited I was at how well they were doing. I think you just need that. And I, and I know that as a contestant, you need, you're sitting there craving, you just want the approval. And you want them to say, good, you did a really good job because you're trying so hard. So. I know what that feels like when you get a good compliment from a judge. Yes, I did it. So I, I made sure to, to let them know when they did good jobs. So would you say your judging style is similar to Michelle's? A little bit. I, I think I'm I'm I think I'm a mix of all of them because I gave definitely gave critiques, but I also gave a lot of enthusiastic praise. Oh, my cat literally just jumped up on this thing. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, whoa! Um, I gave a lot of, um, I, I feel like I, I was pretty well-rounded. So I, there was a little bit of Michelle peppered in there with some Carson and some Rue and some Ross. I just threw them all in a blender. That's what happened. And made Brooklyn. <laughs> and made <laughs> Michelle comes to play as a guest judge. So what is it like bringing her onto Canadian turf and having oh, her read the girls? So good. She, she's, it was, it's honestly like a master class. You were fashion, but funny. And I loved that. Michelle's the goat. Like she, she is such, so, so, so good at her job. Like I learned so much. I mean, because with the thing with TV, you have a certain amount of time and there was so much I wanted to say to the girls every week that a lot of times when you're giving critiques, you would just ramble and just talk, talk. And they're like, okay, got, got to, we got to wrap it up. Like we can't use any of that. And Michelle was so good at saying exactly what she wanted to say. It was so cool to watch her do that and be like, okay, that's kind of what I need to work on with my judging style. And she was great. Like she, her critiques are amazing. Um, she, she had like a page of notes for each girl. I'm like, how do you have time to write all these down? <laughs> She's like, I've been doing it for a decade. I yeah. figured out it, <laughs> how to do it. Wasn't even, look, it. wasn't even looking at the page, just writing. It was like work. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's safe to say we're going to get a lot of what we know and love about RuPaul's Drag Race on Canada's Drag Race. Like we'll see the challenges we know. What's going to surprise us about Canada's Drag Race? What's different? I think the biggest difference is the fact that Ru is in there and that you have uh, Stacy, Jeffrey, and myself. I think that's the really the biggest difference. Uh, everything else is very much the same formula of the show that you know and love. We have a lot of the same challenges. We have Snatch Game and other things like that. And I, I will say Snatch Game is the episode. I am so excited for everyone to see that episode because they absolutely killed it. It was so- did they, did they pick a lot of Canadian superstars to portray? No, actually they did not. No, smart. <laughs> because the music and the passion, it just draw me in and I feel so alive yeah. when I sing that song. Where's the Celine? It, it ain't even Celine Dion anymore. Celine, you're done. They did not. Um, but it, yeah, it, it was. I was just blown away because I was really nervous, obviously, for them because I, I had a little PTSD <laughs> going into it. Um, and they were just incredible. They did such a good job. And I, I was so proud after that episode. I was like, wow, like you, y'all really proved yourselves here. Cause that's like the episode everyone watches for. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. What surprised you the most about the experience? It surprised me that I think the hardest thing was I didn't realize how hard it would be to send somebody home. That was surprisingly difficult. I, I, my evil part of me was like, oh, this is going to be fun. And then it, like, it happened and I was like, oh, this sucks. It was really, especially that first week, like the first time we had to do it. Oh man, it was really tough. I actually cried the next day. Like I was in my dressing room the next day and one of the producers came in and was like, how are you feeling? And I was like, I'm fine. <laughs> I was just, cause you, I get it. I know, I know how hard they worked. I know how much money they spent. Like I get it, I get it, I get it. And like how badly they wanted it and then that to get there and then be like, no, just kidding. It's like, oh, that sucks. So, um, but it got easier as time went on. So <laughs> it was just that first week was just, it was, it was a hard one for me. So I think that was the thing that surprised me the most about it. Well, and you and a hundred plus other queens have proven you don't have to win the show to turn it into a platform that will change your life. Exactly, but you don't think that in that moment, you think your life is over, so. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's very true. It's all it's all uh, what you do with it and the impact you've left on the audience in whatever time you've been there. So do you 
and your co-judges kind of have like equal power without there being a rue there. It's the three of you are triumvirate. Exactly. Yeah, we all have. No one has more power than anybody else. Like everything is very much a democracy. Um, we make every decision together, and sometimes those decisions are quick, and then sometimes those decisions take an hour. And like you just there's, the, but we have a list. We have lists of pros and cons and pie graphs and charts and like everything you can think of. So like we we really take it all very seriously, which I think we need to. Like this is not a joke to us. We take our decisions extremely seriously and we really weigh all the pros and cons. To wrap things up here, if you had to boil down Canada's Drag Race to one word, what's your word for it? <sighs> iconic. I will take an iconic Canada's Drag Race. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we Americans gonna need any like slang defined for us? Have to pick up on some stuff? Not a lot of slang. I think it's just more pronunciation. Like, like how you just pronounced pronunciation. Pronunciation, yes. Out, about, sorry, a. I have to tap uh, back into when I used to watch Degrassi and they would say things like um, adult. Exactly. Or process. Yes. Okay. So we'll just be picking up on. <laughs> by the end of it, we'll all be saying long O's. <laughs> exactly. That's all you really need. Well, congratulations. I can't wait to watch. And hopefully. The world gets better soon and you can get back out there and perform for the people. I hope so. <laughs> but for now, enjoy not having to tuck. Thank you. It's been <laughs> My balls appreciate it.